continuing to get good call outs. Our trajectory looking nominal, system looking nominal. Just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again. sound getting those onboard views from the ship cameras now the mech, the next major milestone is going to be a hot staging maneuver again we're going to be doing that in just about 90 seconds to do that we're going to shut down all of the three center raptor engines on super heavy that'll be our miko our most engines cut off and then the clamps holding the two stages together are gonna release. Starship's second stage will ignite its engines, the RVACs first, the sea levels right after that. The sea level engines will be splayed or just kind of pointed out at about a 15 degree angle. So if you look close and we get good tracking, you might be able to see those center right after. And so those six engines will push Starship off of the booster All right, counting down now. We're gonna be coming up right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle. And then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip After and then the move into the boost back burn, setting it up Booster for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Stage separation. Wow! 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 Look at those views! Hot staging confirmed. Yes! Booster's now making its way back, seeing six engines ignited on ship. Yes! Kate, we got a starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh man, uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, these are live views from Starship. Uh, first stage is currently performing the boost. Avionics, power and telemetry nominal. Good there, news informing us that the second stage or the ship, everything looking good, nominal there. First stage is currently performing the boost back burn, expecting that to last about one minute. That boost Tip back burn. Uh, that boost back burn propels the booster back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're uh, only using the super heavy booster's 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as Whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to uh -oh. change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. It's coming back, baby. Booster's coming back. Wow, these are just incredible views coming to us. Yeah, that's likely just a vent. Everything is looking good for both the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen or the super heavy booster, as well as on the right-hand side of your screen, that is Starship, or we also refer to that as the ship. Our trackers are feverishly still trying to find Booster again. Now the boost back burn uh, was the first of two burns required to return it to Earth. The next one will be the landing burn, where all 13 center engines will initially ignite and then transition into a three engine burn uh, to help slow it down. Now just as a reminder of the stage one test objectives, uh, we're looking for controlled ascent, which we have so far, uh, stage separation, which Gorgeous. We cruised right through it, uh, as well as on a nominal trajectory. Good news there, telling us that the path that Starship is on uh, is good. Now, Starship's second stage is still firing its engines, and as you heard, following planned flight path, uh, the ship objectives. We're looking for hot staging again. Cruised right through that. We're looking to demonstrate controlled ascent as well as orbital insertion. Now, the bottom right-hand corner of the screen shows the ship uh, engine graphics, so be sure to keep an eye on those. Yep, Kate, like, this is just a, a phenomenal test so far. Super Heavy is performing beautifully today. It's on its return leg of the journey. Wow. 
ship continuing to burn its six engines, those larger circles, the Raptor vacuum engines, the inner circles, the uh, Raptor sea level engines. We're ab about 30 seconds away. Uh, oh, moving. Just under 30 seconds away <laughs> from the start of the boost back burn. Landing burn. Uh, excuse me, the landing burn on the booster. You can see the grid fins rotating. Those hypersonic grid fins oh, so are cool. guiding us through the atmosphere back towards our splashdown site. Again, we're going for a hard uh, for a splashdown. A soft splashdown. <laughs> oh baby! So for landing burn, we're going to expect to see the 13 center engines light rapidly bring down the booster's velocity, and then just the three in the center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, it's getting wobbly. We're getting a few, a few engines. A few engines trying. Oh no. Oh, I don't think that was. And acquisition of signal. Let's see if we can get some other video of that. Now, uh, this is a test objective today. It is still something that we're attempting to learn. Um, and to make it that far to demonstrate the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. Ship continuing to look nominal with its ascent burn. Yes. This burn lasting uh, about six minutes total. So, and T we're plus expecting that this burn will end uh, just after T plus eight minutes, about a minute from now. So far, though, I mean. Congrats to the team. Making it this far is farther than, we, than we've gone Absolutely. on flight two. Just wonderful views and great engine performance from the vehicles. So, so far, the booster's done what every other rocket booster's so far, done in history. Controlled ascent. We're in the middle of that right now. We demonstrated the hot staging. Kate, as you said, cruised through that. Uh, we demonstrated controlled entry of the, the booster. Just yeah. stopped a little short of the engine relay, but hey, that's something we can learn for the next one. Yeah, now that view that we just had moments ago was a live shot of Star Command. There you see it again. This is uh, our mission control center at Starbase. Uh, where vehicle down. operators are standing by. Now, the next milestone coming up uh, is in less than a minute. Uh, at that point, ship will, or I'm sorry, it actually, it already has. Um, engine cut off. Yes! Oh, there go. <laughs> yes! As you heard there by the call out and from the crowd behind us. Starship's six Raptor engines have successfully shut down. We heard a call out for nominal orbital insertion, which is incredible. Look at these views, Dan. That is incredible. Uh, I'm <laughs> just completely blown away right now. Uh, what a day. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team. I mean, this, this flight pretty much just started, but... <laughs> 